<laughs> well, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. Just getting things going for the holiday that's coming up here. Hey, Tobes. No one wants to acknowledge the camera. I've done a little bit of Christmas shopping. Just some quick updates. At Ulta, I've always used this one right here from Mario Badusco, the aloe one with the cucumber. I like it during the summertime. I keep it in my refrigerator. When I come inside and it's really hot, I'll like splash some water on my face and then spray myself down with some of this. It just kind of soothes my skin and helps cool me off. I've never tried these other ones. And since, you know, it's 20 bucks for all four of them, I thought, hey, great deal. And then I got some other things. I went to, okay, went to Pier 1 with the family. We did a little bit of shopping. I did a little bit of vlogging there. You guys, here, you go look at that. Ooh. Pretty. Sparkles and sugary things. Oh, I love him. He looks so weird. Might need that. Oh, oh. Ooh. Lots of sparkle. Okay. That's a funny thing to find at Pure One. With nothing. There's nothing simple. This store is very extra. Everything in here is extra, and that's okay. Just like, oh, just living that simple life. <gasps> oh. I could put some pine cones next to it and call it a Christmas decoration. This is nice. It's classy. It's from Pure One. Oh, he's so cute, but $60. <laughs> I like these because they kind of remind me of jackalobes. They have that rounded face like a bunny rabbit, but then they ain't like... That's all. What do we think of this table runner? I like it. It's like a classic Christmas. It's like got that touch of grandma, but it's like... She's a fancy grandma. Okay, I really want this, but only so I can put tiny little succulents in each one. So, I think that might be a waste of money. Yeah, they had some nice stuff in there. And yes, of course, I couldn't help myself. It was on clearance, too. I don't know, I'll put a wreath around its neck and we can call it a Christmas armadillo. I'm fine with it. I don't, I really like our armadillos. I don't know why, I just think they're cute. Even though I know people think they're a nuisance, it's just, they're in the anteater family. How cool is that? Like, they're American anteaters. You know, sometimes something can be, like, ugly and cute at the same time. That's, it's armadillos. Yeah. A little bit of Christmas decorating going on. Don't worry, I didn't skip Thanksgiving. <coughs> there. I decorated for Thanksgiving. I'm not gonna pretend it's not happening. There will be Thanksgiving. Or, when is this coming out? Thanksgiving will have happened for everybody else by the time this video comes out. But me and my family... We're doing our Thanksgiving on Saturday, so when this vlog's coming out, I will just be doing it. Hi, honey. Camera's very blurry today. Don't know what that's about. I don't understand. It's technology, so you would think that things would just be consistent no matter what, right? Like, every time you use it, you should have the same result. But I swear, it's almost like it has different moods. I don't know why I felt the need to straighten that out. It's not like this goes together in any way, shape, or form. It still looks terrible. Oh, and look at it. Look at it. Isn't it just the cutest little twig? Little stinker. It's so adorable. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I like I went through the motions over this plant and then of course went and got it. I have a friend who's wanted one for a really long time and I was like, you know what? I can find a way to justify this purchase. I'll just go ahead, get it for myself, enjoy it for a few weeks, and then Christmas present. Perfect. And hopefully by now y'all have caught on to the fact that this vlog has absolutely no direction or purpose. We're just hanging out. Got my computer fixed, so I am ready to go for Vlogmas, I think. I hope. We will see. I uh, have done it before where I did every single day. I'm not doing that this year. I'm just going to upload more. I think that that's fine. Because I personally, in order to, uh, except for with these vlogs... But with the videos during the week, if I want them to have a certain amount of quality, I can't really pump them out every single day. I don't have time. And I don't want to put out videos that I don't like, because why would you like them if I don't like them, right? What's the point? There's no point. <laughs> did, you just, did you just now notice me? What was that? You're crazy. <laughs> what just happened? Uh, 
<laughs> and what just happened? Again, what just happened? It's one of the nice things about the vlogs. They just get to kick back and relax. We can chat. The downside to them... You're very camera shy today, Pumpkin. The uh, down... Oh, okay. It's, it's top of the hour. As I was saying, the downside to that... Would you look at the camera? What is your deal, Pumpkin? Okay. All right. It's going to be one of those days. You're going to be a little sassy, but... You being sassy, Pumpkin? All right. Uh, you better watch yourself. Where are you going? That's not for you. Don't steal food from a tortoise. That's not nice. We don't steal food from turtles, Toby. Don't do that. Anyways, all I was saying was this is just... We're just going to hang out, relax. Maybe I'll do some Christmas decorating. I'll probably do some Christmas decorating. And uh, just chill. I'll check in every day or so. And do a little bit of something. I don't know what I'm making for Thanksgiving. No idea. What'd you guys make? Tell me about it. I have no idea. I'm going to keep it simple. Very simple. Like, probably, maybe, where, where is everybody? Maybe, you know, some stuffing, or I guess dressing, because I'm not actually going to put it in the turkey. I don't know if I'm going to make a turkey. I don't eat meat, but everybody else does, so I don't know. Need to have a conversation with people about that one. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's probably going to happen in this vlog, because I do a lot of casseroles. Charlie, would you acknowledge? People always wonder where Charlie is. Hey, Charlie. Um, I do a lot of casseroles because I like, you can make them the day before, even a few days before, throw them in the fridge or the freezer, and then just heat them up. Makes Thanksgiving Day so much easier. It would be splendid to just have a day where something isn't breaking. Why is this leaking? What's happening? You're closed. That made it worse. Okay, so that's something else to repair. Fantastic. Dishwasher might be getting fixed today. I don't know. Fingers crossed. If it doesn't, the they've been a few times. If this last part right here doesn't work to fix it, then the last piece they need to get it in won't be able they won't be able to get it till January. <laughs> you wait. So I haven't been stressing about the broken dishwasher, because you know you can just wash your dishes with your hand, no big deal. But the holidays, family in town, I, 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 I will be really disappointed if it's not fixed. That's all I'm going to say. Otherwise, it's going to be during the holidays. I'm just going to tell people, listen, if you eat off of it, you clean it. Everybody's going to have to handle their own dishes. And the piece to fix the hot tub came in the mail finally, so that's nice. Another thing that can be repaired. Computers fixed. He is so cute. And on that note, the laundry room's a total disaster because this shelf up here broke this bracket piece. That broke, and uh, these pieces, I don't think I can show you, because I already put the... Yeah, I don't have the old one, but these... So that's going to be at the... I'm in the laundry room, and so are they. So that might get kind of loud, sorry. These pieces right here, I'm going to talk kind of quiet and soft, because you do that comes a bit. It's not working. They're still being loud. I just need to find some bigger drywall studs. That's all it is. That's, that's, that's... Or not drywall studs, the... Anchors. I need a big one because when you pull those old, the old bracket out, it tore a large hole in the wall because the anchors are actually attached to those brackets. Fun stuff. And that seems to have resolved itself. I just kind of opened and closed it a few times and it stopped, so that's good. Did you guys get your Shane Dawson Jeffree Star stuff? I got this as a present for someone and I only received one palette, but then I went back and looked and apparently that's all that went through. You know, that whole day getting these things ordered was so chaotic. Like, once I got to the checkout, it just kind of stayed there forever. And apparently, it, it didn't go through. So I went back, and it was when the mini controversy was back up online. So I wasn't able to get the others, and I ordered. Anyways, yeah. Long story short, thought I was going to have some to give away, but I do not. You can only order two at a time from um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics anyways. I was only going to have two, but now I just have the one, so I'm going to give this to someone for Christmas, but it's pretty. Not much I can tell you there, other than I know they're going to take that diet root beer out and replace it with something green, which I think will look cool. I'm still glad that I was able to get that one. I think that's nice. I thought about if I was able to get the big one, taking the makeup out and planting succulents in the box, but I know that the internet would eat me alive if I did that, so obviously would have been a bad idea. Can't do it anyways, but that... The packaging is so pretty. I mean, it's hollow. And then you have the black in there, so it's like you can't really go wrong, right? I mean, just look, look at, look at that. It's so pretty. So colorful. Now, it doesn't, to the naked eye, 
it does not do this. I can't see that with my own eyes. But through the camera, it is beautiful. Okay, so there's my Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star collab review. This is a beauty channel now. Welcome to my beauty channel. I'm a beautuber. Here's how you do makeup. You just do the makeup things. I don't know anything about makeup, sorry. Okay, that was fun. I better get my ass outside and show you some plants before the people start coming and going, it's a plant channel, where are the plants? And then I'd be like, hey, excuse you. It's my channel and I can do what I want. No, it's a vlog and this is my channel. Sometimes there's plant things, sometimes there's not. But here's the plants. Everything's doing well. I've been using the fan on that nature mode. If you watch the video where I set this up, it has a setting where it basically like just changes the power, how powerful it is. So it goes from stronger to weaker and that way it's not like a consistent just blast of air right onto the plants. So at nighttime, I've been switching it on to that. In past years, I've just turned the fan off at nighttime, but it seems to be working fine like this. Soaking some Vandas, the orchids are having themselves a drink, doing their thing. Not much to report on at this moment out here. It's been watering and keeping up with things, the impatience that I put in here last week. It's only been a couple days since that vlog came out and since I did that, but been over a week by the time you will have seen this and it's starting to flush out with some teeny tiny little buds it's doing okay doing well the prince of orange philodendron you can see back there behind that very upset lelia has some new foliage flushing out of the middle i'm happy about that they are so pretty every time they put out new foliage it's so pretty up there's the paradise gouramis people had asked the remember the one that got i kind of goofed and left the one outside i didn't mean to but they're okay they're happy together, doing their thing. They're waiting to be fed. I have a lot of what I want to do for Vlogmas planned out already. Some of the videos are in the process of being filmed. Like there are certain things I decided to do that are going to take several days, even several weeks to complete from finish to end. But then I'm still trying to fill in the gaps with everything else. And I know one thing I need to do is I definitely need to get these Saracenias into their dormancy. They need a winter rest. You know, the ones you see at the store this time of year hopefully have been like refrigerated during the summer so that they'll be active during the winter time, but the most of them, at least it depends on where they're from, but a lot of the Saracenias, these pitcher plants, need a winter dormancy. It needs to be, I think, it's been a minute since I read up on this, but I think it's like 12 weeks below 40. In the past, that's been difficult for me to pull off because we have cold winters here, but there's always days here and there where it'll be like 50 or 60. And so when I've overwintered my Saracenias in the past, I, you know, trim them up. I usually put them into like a ball of like some sphagnum moss or something like that. And then I'll put them underneath like my dark pots or something like that. But if the sun comes out and gets on those, that heats them up. So I learned to not do that because it still gets very warm in there. And then I'm like, well, maybe I can bury them into like the mulch with my bananas. But that's still, that stays fairly warm. So I actually think this year, just to have the consistency of keeping them cold, I'm just going to trim them back and throw them in my fridge. I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to do more reading on it first, but that's something I will probably do for Vlogmas. The other thing here, though, is that they're actually like really doing well in here. They're really kind of enjoying the indoor life, so I'm a little bit torn on it. They have to have their rest, though. That mangrove really shouldn't be in there. They're not compatible plants, but I was like, I'm just going to throw it in there and see what happens. And it's actually done very well. It's sprouted and has a few leaves on it, but they shouldn't be in the same soil or in the same conditions. Really, the, the Saracenias, they don't like a nutrient-rich water, so they really shouldn't be doing very well in here either, but, I mean they are. You know, sometimes things aren't always exactly how we think they should be. Hello. Aren't you looking pretty with all your little morning dew on you? I say morning dew. I sprayed everything down. The humidity was, I mean, it wasn't low. It was like 50% when I came out here, but my eyes were really dry. So sometimes when it happens, I give everything a mist, help moisten the air up a little bit. I need to film a video. So I'm going to go ahead and soak my Vandas. Shut up because there's something I want to, wow, look at, can you guys see how much my hand's shaking? Okay. Time to cut back on the coffee. They're having their little soak and I'm thinking uh, I need to do some cleaning here. I'm going to film a video real quick, but this needs a bit of a change up. I got like, I like this little situation I put together right here. 
I think it's cute, but I don't know. This is just, it's been the same. And the problem is in the wintertime, everything is feels monotonous to me. And so it would be nice to be able to change things up a little bit. So I've finally gotten things organized. I have like stones and rocks and decorations and things all over the place. I'll go ahead, get this whole thing cleaned off, make some changes there. And look at, I found my origami paper. That's fun. Do you know origami? End of question. I was supposed to be doing something else here. The fun thing about this desk is it's foldable. This comes off and you can collapse it down. I was thinking, this is the bottom, normally the other side's what you're seeing. I was thinking that I could just flip this wood panel, wood panel over and put like contact paper on it, but I forgot, I completely forgot that it has these little pieces in it. I don't know what you call these things, but those slide onto this bar here, they snap on. That helps keep everything stable and together, but it does still fit in here just fine like that. See, it goes in there. It's okay. I've already cleaned it off. So I got this like super cheap contact paper and I just realized that it's not, it doesn't say anywhere on here at least that it's waterproof and it probably needs to be waterproof, right? So uh, maybe I won't do this, but I kind of really wanted to do it. I could only take it like that's could be a problem. So what do I do? Do I take those out and put them back? Like take them out, put the contact paper on, and then put them back on? Or do I cut a hole and go? Seems a lot easier to take them out, right? Why? I'm just thinking out loud. Sorry, let me, I'll just go ahead and do this. Okay, so I do like this, but there are some issues with it. One, it says it's water resistant, not waterproof. And then you see this, that's not gonna work. So I didn't actually adhere it because it says there's some instruction things in here. It says that the adhesive is made to be permanent. It's not like a peel and stick and easy removal sort of thing so I thought maybe I would just leave it on the adhesive and then put these guys back in right there and that would help hold it in place but with these little lines and stuff in there that's not going to work that looks terrible so I can uh, I'm not going to do this right now probably won't even do it in this vlog but I can cut you know really thin little pieces of plywood that fit the top of this and put it on there and then I can swap them out. What a great idea. And then I don't even have to flip it over. I am so smart. I mean, I just did all this for absolutely no reason, but now I know, right? And it's kind of a bit much. I'll have to play with my camera settings. That's the only thing I was wondering about with using like a faux white marble is that it might come across like way too bright. And it does, very much does. So I don't know, we will see. I, I just got a notification, the dishwasher guy's here. So I'm gonna go handle that. Hopefully when I come back, I'll have a working dishwasher. We will see, fingers crossed. I was just standing back wondering if it looks any better from here, but no, that still doesn't play well on camera. Not without making some adjustments. Okay, a little bit of time has passed. I like it, it's grown on me. You know, I had to keep in mind that I rarely film videos from <laughs> up here so that texture isn't as noticeable. And then I don't normally have my lights pointed down straight at the surface. So that's not a problem. Went ahead and threw my things on here. I just wanted to see how I liked it. Ultimately, I was just like, do I like contact paper? I think I do. It's, it's look at, what a neat little transformation. It plays through on camera much better than it does in person, which is fine. That's the point. So I'm gonna put this back together. I uh, may or may not have gone down a little bit of a rabbit hole on Amazon looking at contact paper. I think I have a new obsession because it doesn't even have to be attached. I can just drop it on top of here. So no big deal, quick. This is, I know pointless and what is it? It has nothing to do with plants, but, but we're kicking off Vlogmas technically. And this is just, it's what's going on in life fun, exciting things with marble contact paper. It's just a little bit brighter than the wood. And it's nice to have a change. You know, I don't necessarily want my winter videos to every single year to totally blend together. It'd be nice if there are some differences. So it's just things like that. And for me personally, I just I like a little bit of change is nice. I kind of like it. So that's what that's about. I did dribble some water on here when the dishwasher people got here, just because I wanted to see what would happen if this would fall apart, because it didn't say whether or not it was waterproof. It said it was water resistant, but that's kind of a broad thing to say, right? And it didn't do anything, didn't hurt anything. There were some little spots, but they just wiped right off. So, I mean, I doubt it's gonna hold up to a lot. 
so I probably am going to have to not do anything too intense on top of this because this is this was real cheap. I think it's the duct tape brand contact paper, but it was like I don't know eight dollars or I'm sorry, I think what am I supposed to say? It was very affordable and inexpensive. Apparently, you're not supposed to say cheap anymore. I don't know, whatever. Oh, and I tangled my balls up. It's the one thing about these little Newton's cradles. I had one of these years ago. I still have it somewhere, a really big one. But when I packed it up, the whole thing got all kinds of tangled. It was just a mess. But this little one should be easier to manage. I'm gonna put my desk back together and uh, maybe we can do some plant things. Some of you all might enjoy watching a plant channel where plant things happen. Yeah, I'll get to it. There's some, look, there's a stromanthi right here. Isn't it pretty? Very pretty. It's not gonna be able to stay in that pot very long though, is it? No, but that's okay. As it grows, I can take little divisions and keep keeping the divisions in this little pot. Cause I think that that is just the perfect plant for this planter. Don't you? I need to polish this. This has gotten really dirty. Look at that, how does that even happen? Don't you hate when that happens, when like you've been looking at something for so long that you just don't even notice that it's gotten a little bit dusty? I need to clean that up and do all of the other things. Put the desk back together. I really need to do that. Um, abrupt change. I'm at Walmart and apparently you have to solve a puzzle to get your cart. That's fun, I don't mind it. Just, just make, it, make it work. It's Thanksgiving. And this is the only place it's open. I need to grab some things and then look at some Christmas stuff. Okay, slight problem. They're setting up for Black Friday, so like all the aisles are completely blocked off and nothing works. I wanna look at these, these look cool. Ooh, uh, weird colors, but cute. Okay, well, let's hope nobody else needs to come down this aisle because I can't move. Look at, isn't that cute? Oh, look at him. I don't know how this is cardinal themed, it's just, Red and blue. Oh, is this one of those? I think it is. It's a, oh, 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 nothing but good times happening over here. <laughs> oh, that looks weird. I'm so sorry. That's got to be uncomfortable for you. Poor guy. I really, I don't know how I'm going to make this work. We can do it though. I just need some tiny cheap little bows. Okay, there we go. I feel like that's not as good of a deal as it seems like, right? 97 cents. Can't you get like a big bag of these for like a dollar at the dollar store? They're not open today though. And I don't have time to go tomorrow. So we'll just make it work. You don't even know what's happening. Sorry. Oh, he's cute. Oh no. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> what happened to you? Is it stuck like that? No, there's wire in there. I'm putting it back. I like it like that. Haha, <laughs> jackpot. Okay, well, I was just looking for like just like classic Christmas balls. They don't have any of those. Those have like shapes and things in them. So we have to raid Pumpkin's toys. I have a bag. She loves plastic ornaments. They're like the only thing she plays with. So I'm gonna have to take some of hers. These are cute, but kind of looks like fiberglass. It might work. And they have these little lantern things. Again, you have no idea why I'm here, but you, you will see eventually in a different video. Oh, I'm seeing all kinds of wonderful things over here. Look at all the teeny tiny little miniature balloon doggies. That's cute. And they have little unicorns and sparkly trees and things that are all kinds of fun, whimsical colors. None of them fit what I'm going for, but they're cute. Okay, see, I just, I keep getting trapped. Every single aisle I go down, I gotta turn around, find a new way out. Funky, what you doing? Funkin! Funkin! What, what you doing, butt? What are you doing? You lounging? Getting your leisure on, Funkin? You so sweet. What you doing? You good girl. Love you, Funkin. Okay, so sorry about that. I'm sure that that was a very odd and random couple of minutes. I was there and I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and vlog while I'm here. I'm just getting started cooking Thanksgiving dinner, which for me is the same day this vlog is coming out. My family, I think I already mentioned, doing it a different day. Got the casseroles started. They're cooling so I can throw them in the fridge. I like to, you know, do those things beforehand so the day of I can just toss the casseroles in the oven and not have to worry about it. But you know, if you don't let them cool, then the water they get all watery and gross, so that needs to 
What's happening? Oh, yeah. Let's go to the store. Well, I'm at the grocery store, but they're like, they're really busy. I wasn't expecting that to be a thing. That's not normally how things are the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, like, really busy. And there's barely even, there's only a few shopping carts. Are there Black Friday deals on grocery? Yeah, I always make out my list in order of how I'm going to move around the store, and I'm already, I'm only in the first aisle and forgot some things. Off to a great start here. It smells very oniony in here. There's a reason. Garlic and onions. I'm trying to, like, fuse an old recipe with a healthier recipe, and I just, I don't know if it's going to work. Like, halfway through the process, I was, like, just stopped looking at the recipe, because I used to have... This casserole, it's broccoli cheddar rice casserole. Like, had that memorized. It's an old family recipe. And they're all pretty much the same. But the one that my family has always made has been extremely cheesy. And I'm trying to cut back on that, but still, like, keep it good. So I want it to be more broccoli forward than cheese forward. Even though all the cheese I bought is dairy-free, it just, it doesn't, it's not the same. Anybody who's ever tried the dairy-free, you know, it's not, it's not the same. But anyways, the recipe calls to use frozen rice, or not rice, broccoli. I, I don't, I don't, frozen broccoli has a very specific taste to it. And I'm not really here for it. Not with this. So I'm gonna, like, see about, I don't know. Oh, and turned out I didn't have as much rice as I thought I did. So I, like, portioned my water out for a certain amount of rice. I think it's going to be okay. I was thinking that, like, within a few minutes, I might need to stick a ladle in there and pull some water out, but it looks like it's going to be all right. I don't like to take the lids off those when I'm cooking. So these are clarifying. It's just onions and um, some... What is it? What, what's happening here? Dice up a large onion and minced up um, three garlic cloves, and then I'm going to attempt to maybe make, like, a vegan roux or something, something for thickening. I didn't rinse the rice. So that starch will help keep things thick, but that's not really going to help with flavor. I don't know. This has nothing to do with anything, but nothing in this vlog has had anything to do with anything, so it's all, it doesn't really matter. These things, I was gone for like 20 minutes, still piping hot when I came home, and someone's in big trouble. Big trouble. You ever want to see me going off? Stick your fingers in the food. It's so nasty, keep your fingers out of people's food. That's for everyone. That's not just for one. Ugh, it's so rude. Is that just me? Am I the only one who's like that? Like, there's only, like, I think one person who I, like, get away with that sort of thing. And that's because, you know, they. That's different. You share germs with that person. But anybody else, no fingers in the food. It's gross. <laughs> I'm just gonna be so I'm just gonna... Anyways, I'm just gonna chop up some broccoli and maybe we'll get back to cooking or who knows what'll be happening when we cook. I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't have enough broccoli, but it looks like there's plenty. That, it was slim pickings. No surprise there though, right? It's the day after Thanksgiving. But it really, like, it doesn't have a lot of color to it. I don't, you know, broccoli, nice dark green broccoli. That's what I like to see. Also just remember that I completely forgot to get Brussels sprouts. Do you love roasted Brussels sprouts? They have that like nice crunch to them. They're almost buttery on the inside, but they're kind of a pain to make. I don't know though. I enjoy cooking, especially for my family, for loved ones. I enjoy it. I think there's enough, like this is, there's more in the fridge. There, there's, it's going to be a feast. I mean, it's going to be a Thanksgiving dinner. That's not really anything unusual, but this might be unusual. <laughs> we'll find out. I don't know about it. Everything I'm doing seems right. I added a little bit of nutritional yeast sometimes. I know that sounds gross if you don't know what I'm talking about. Here's some some nooch, nutritional yeast. It's delicious flavors to food. Fact. Very true. It kind of helps bring out sort of a creaminess that sometimes you're missing when you're not using things like real cheese or dairy and stuff like that. And it, I mean, it's really just good in general. But I've, like, I think that that's going to help get some flavor in here the heat's off so uh, that raw broccoli is just kind of gently tenderizing a little bit and then i'll mix it in with this and oh i forgot about a i'm gonna figure something out with that i need a liquid base i probably should have prepared this and figured out a recipe for a dairy-free like broccoli soup cream of broccoli soup. i can make this work it's not a big deal i have some uh, no chicken vegetable stock over here. I bet a little bit of flour, cornstarch, and that butter. Uh, yeah, this it'll come out fine. I'm just just waiting for dairy-free cheese to melt. Gonna be waiting a while. It does not like to melt. Crank that down to low. 
throw the lid on there, give it some time. I think that that's all it needs is some time. There are a lot of recipes for like, um, like nacho type cheeses and macaroni and cheese type cheeses, but almost all of them require some sort of nut and I have a family member who's very allergic. So I was like, I'm going to give this a try because these don't have any nuts in them. I don't like, there's one thing on here, vegan natural flavors. What's that? I'd like to know more. I'm looking at it. Seems to be okay as far as the like cashews and almonds and things like that go. So gonna give that a try. I also, you know the Daya mac and cheese? You guys ever had that before? It's not bad. I don't know if there's nuts in those little bags of cheese though. I could have bought one of those and just used the sauce. This is kind of, see here's one of the fun things with cooking is you play around, you experiment, you learn as you go. And uh, it's just because this is an altered recipe where I'm like, I'm just kind of playing around with it and having fun. I think it's going to taste great no matter what, just because, I mean, look at that. I did end up, like, attempting to make a roux with some oat milk, and it came out kind of chunky, but I think it's working. But that's that. It just, here's, it just, doesn't it, it just looks so gross, doesn't it? It doesn't look very appetizing. A lot of Thanksgiving food doesn't always look that beautiful in my opinion that's why i made sure to get stuff so i can make a pretty salad <laughs> i want something pretty on the table i mean these things are it's just you know casseroles it's like yeah those look better though when there's like some marshmallows on top of the sweet potatoes and there's like the actual onions on top of those things and there we go well it's good but it ain't great. I think expecting it to be great is asking a lot when you've taken all of the real cheese out of it. So that's okay. If I were to do this again, I would uh, probably do like a third more broccoli because it, it's as much broccoli as I put in there. There's still, I feel like, not enough. And uh, I would do more seasoning, which I can still do. I'm not going to bake this off till tomorrow. And, uh, you know, traditionally with this sort of thing, you cover the top with cheese and those crispy onion rings, which would be delicious. But I think what I might end up doing tomorrow, I might go ahead and... Uh, have you ever had roasted broccoli? You know, the broccoli where you throw it on a baking sheet, you cover it in herbs and spices, throw some olive oil on there, and roast it up in the oven until it's a little bit crispy. I think that, as long as it's finely chopped, would make a nice topping on this. It'll add some crunch and bring a little bit more life to it because it... Uh, it's not my favorite thing. I like it. I like it a lot, but I can't really compare it to the one that was loaded with cheese. You know what I mean? But it's still good. I'm going to make a salad. <laughs> Got some nice radicchio there and some greens and a dual. None of this, since I have to end the vlog tonight, I guess the, none of this really matters. This just, I think at this point, it's been pretty clear this is just a hangout vlog, right? You, yes? No? I was getting ready to work on some more desserts, but my nutmeg expired. I don't actually think that matters. It maybe just won't have as much flavor. Do the vanilla beans expire? I don't think so. Well, I'm sure they do at some point. I opened it up and it still smells very good in there. It's always such a nice sense of accomplishment when you get all the food into the refrigerator. I mean, it's, it doesn't look pretty, but it's in there. Ugh, wait, no, it's not. Forgot. Make the salad tomorrow. And what else? Stuffing. Dressing. What do you call it? Isn't like, it's only stuffing if it actually goes in the turkey? Is that the rule? I'm not sure. Yes, this is a pizza peel. I use it as a cutting board because I like the handle and it has a sloped edge on it. So it makes it really easy to chop stuff up and slide it right off into the, there's a little compost bin down there. It's just, it, and I'm cheap. It was like $10. <laughs> I almost forgot. Tying things back to how things started. Look what's in here. What? Oh, I forgot I ordered that. Don't think I need it. Well, talk about that another time. I have a new obsession and it's contact paper. <laughs> the most boring thing to get into ever. It's just there were, oh, that's little. That's too small. What am I gonna do with that? I can tell just from looking at this one, this one's really crappy. You can see the pixelation. Or the, what's it, the DPI? The dots. See those dots? Can you see them? I'll get it closer. See that? You shouldn't be able to see that. It's low quality. Aww. They're so little. I thought the table was 18 inches, but apparently I was off there. Probably like 20, 24. 
it's okay. I still like them, and it's just, it was just for fun. It was just for fun. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. I will say though, two of these are wallpaper, and the listing specifically said on Amazon, high quality texture vinyl contact paper. Wallpaper's not. That's not like I can. That ain't high quality. That looks dumb. I don't think so. Same thing with this one. Mm -mm. No, but I kind of like these. Those will be okay. This when you thought things couldn't get any more random. Welcome to my life. Also, by the way, it smells amazing out here. This cactus, the Disso cactus, really, <laughs> really put on a show. I'm kind of kicking myself because I had thought about setting up my big camera to do a time lapse. I wanted to set that up so it would record those flowers opening up. And I've been watching it the past few days just covered in buds, but they weren't really doing anything. And I thought maybe it was going to blast on me, but no, it's pretty happy. Look at all those flowers and they just smell wonderful. I just said a lot and I wasn't recording. I hate when that happens. It smells nice. It's a nice plant. The back of the flowers have more of an orange hint to them. And it just, it smells great out here. Kind of fruity and cinnamon like something like that. Smells nice. I was also worried about some bud blast on this Vanda, but it looks like it's going to be okay. There's one little bud here that does not want to be on camera. Would you try? Make an effort? There we go. See that little weird looking thing there? So that bud blasted off, but the rest of them look okay. So that was a relief. It's always kind of tricky when you're bringing them in. And while they're in spike, because sometimes they don't, that transition from being outdoors to indoors can be a bit much for them sometimes. But so far, I've only had like a couple little buds come off. Everything else is okay. And on top of this Dizzo cactus blooming over here, my Oncidium Sherry babies are blooming. So like when you walk out here into the garage, you're just like hit in the face with floral smells. Anyways, do you guys have a good holiday? Those of you who are celebrating thanksgiving was it a good time i hope so what about black friday shopping did you guys do any black friday shopping get anything good i browsed around a little bit but i just didn't really see anything that stuck out to me and it's one of those things where it's like i don't need anything and then as far as gifts go for people i just i didn't see anything that stood out so which is unfortunate because i used to try and get a lot of my christmas shopping done on black friday but I don't know, a lot of the stuff I was seeing just kind of looked like clearance stuff from the sites I was looking at, like they were holding on to stuff to just get rid of anyways. That kind of seems to have been a trend the last few years, but that's probably just the places I'm looking. This is kind of ugly too. That other one back there, that was like 10 bucks from a local nursery. This, the Laguna one, they made the sides so high on it. And maybe that's for a reason. People can put like trailers or something over it, but I don't know. It just seems totally unnecessary. What are you going to put in a hole this tiny that needs this much buoyancy? I don't know, but it was actually relatively cheap, especially for being Laguna. That I was tempted to just go back to the nursery where I got that one, but it's, it's a haul. It's a long drive. And I was like, well, I already have a shopping cart full of contact paper and there's more in the mail. It hasn't all come yet. So, it's like, may as well. But yeah, let me know. Good Black Friday sales. Have a good holiday. Just everybody out there who doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving in another country or whatever the reason, hope everything's been good for you too. I thought about poking around in some plant websites, but I decided not to just because I'm dealing with some other stuff from a haul that I'm, hopefully that video will be out in a week or so. But it's like, eh. It didn't seem like the best idea, even though I did see some plants. I was like, oh, I really want them, but eh, I controlled myself. It does kind of suck that since the vlogs come out on Saturday, like when this vlog comes out, I'll probably just be sitting down to dinner with everybody. So after doing that cooking and everything, which was pointless, it wasn't like a cooking video or anything like that, but still that I can't go through the final thing with everybody. I have all my social media linked down below in the description of the video. I'm on Instagram the most, like out of anything else for sure, mostly on Instagram. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say, hey, here's what I'm doing next week, but I've learned not to do that. I don't know what's happening next week. We're just going with the flow. It's the holidays. Need to relax and take things easy. And if you haven't already and you'd like to, give the video a thumbs up. It makes a big difference for the channel and I appreciate it. And subscribe as well and hit that notification bell. That way you know new videos come out. I'm really excited to play with my new contact paper. This is just, 
You know, growing up is weird. The things you end up getting excited about, never would have dreamt I'd be so excited about contact paper 10 years ago. Wouldn't have thought about that. But now it's like, ooh, contact paper or a new vacuum. That's, oh, so exciting. Love a new vacuum. Not that I get a new vacuum often, but when I got my vacuum a couple years ago, I still remember how excited I was. And I was like, well, that should, I shouldn't be this excited about a vacuum, but it's exciting. Okay, done. Time to shut up. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing well, having a great day, great life, and everything's just going wonderfully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye!